bitch. Like, that's why they asking you all this information. It's not because he's actually into you yet. Come on. So many of y'all are looking for a man to come and save you from your bullshit. Because at this point in our life, if we're turned off fully, immediately, we're not even going to do that, right? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dash. Okay, so we are now entering day 10 um, of the 15 days of Dashy. My birthday is five days away. I'm super excited. Um... The day's coming for my birthday to start. I keep trying to say it without, like, saying what I'm doing. But, like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I want you guys to play a part. So, make sure you follow me on Instagram. In the meantime, today's 15 Days of Dash Show is coaching. There are three slots open. Literally three slots. I have six slots left until the end of the year. And um, three open today. And three open on the 15th, my actual birthday. Okay? And that's all I have left for coaching until the end of the year. So grab your fucking spot, okay? One thing that I peeped that y'all are smart as fuck, and I, I, I didn't even think of this, but um, someone DM'd me and was like, is it okay if they sign up now and start later on so that they can take advantage of the deal? Duh, bitch, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You just have to make sure you let me know so I can make sure that we schedule your six weeks or eight weeks, depending on which program you choose, um, to start at the right time. The option is 100% available. Um... I just love, I love coaching so much. Like, I've yeah, been through that. But, like, lately I have been really, really um, loving it so much that I've decided I want to take it a step further. So, just stay tuned to see what I have coming with that. It's going to be a beautiful 2023. Um, there's lots of different things coming. Um, and we're just stepping into our highest and littest selves ever. We're not going to pretend to be people we not. Um, even when we doing our sugar baby finesses, spoiled girlfriend finesses or whatever, we still going to be authentic and genuine and beautiful souls and spirits if I have anything to do with it, okay? So either way, in this video, we're going to talk about how to be a mysterious bad bitch, okay? Um, you need to be mis a mystery to these men. That's why I think I like, it's so easy for me to attract men. Like, people know a lot about me, but people don't know a lot about me, you know? And I think that's like the latest part. <laughs> I'm like the most open private person ever, if you peep, you know? But either way, I'm gonna teach you how to be the same way. So we're gonna talk about that, and we're also gonna talk about some things that men just shouldn't fucking know about you, okay? So let's get into this video. Okay, before I say this first one, can you do me a favor and subscribe and like this video? Give me a thumbs up because I promise it's gonna be full of tea, okay? If you wanna hit 100,000 subscribers, you know, no rush, but I would love to do that and I would love for you to play a part and be part of this family, right? Okay, so either way, number one, spend time with yourself so you stop searching for validation. Um, you don't realize how much you're searching for validation from the people that you've been dating. That's why you over fucking share. If you knew who you were and was very con confident in who you were, you wouldn't feel the need to share so much because you'll understand everything about you is so special. And the people that know those things have to earn knowing you, you know what I'm saying, before they even get to know specific things about you. But that is definitely why you overshare. You're searching for some, some kind of validation, some kind of something, you know, and validation can go so far. Um, we're going to do a video on validation at some point, but like, that's not the energy right now, but you feel me? Stop searching for that validation and learn that alone time is tea. Like, I love being by myself. It's very concerning sometimes. But, like, I love... <laughs> to somebody who doesn't get it, it would be concerning. But if you get it, like, having that you time, having that time to only give yourself energy, time, love, efforts, everything you want to do, putting that into yourself, like... That's what's tea, okay? Number two is remain unpredictable. He shouldn't know what you're thinking, feeling too early on whatsoever. Um, do not give him the uh, men like reassurance. Don't give him that reassurance too early. He needs to stay on edge. He needs to on edge. He needs to stay on edge. He needs to be fully enthralled in the chase, honey. You're worth it. You're worth every motherfucking second. So do not become predictable and, and just redo your schedule to fit this man in it. No, babe. He don't know if you're going to be free or not because he don't know what you're really thinking or feeling about him. Number three is be unavailable. Choose when you want to deal with somebody that you're unsure, unsure of. Um, if you just know, like, I don't know, but you're not fully turned off because at this point in our life, if we're turned off fully immediately, we're not even going to do that, right? Um, 
So if it's somebody you're questionable about, like, of course, you need to spend some kind of time figuring out how you feel about them. And then you don't need to be spending hell of time with them because then they will grow on you and you might not be able to pay attention to the red flags, you know. So definitely, you know, we always say you never too fucking available, but definitely be unavailable to people that you're unsure of because you, they might still be a mystery to you. And just because you're a mystery to them doesn't mean you want them to be a mystery to you. You want to know him, you know. Four is stop over sharing your information and stop looking for a savior so many of y'all are looking for a man to come and save you from your bullshit right and that's why you think oversharing and sharing so much about you thinking he'll feel bad or like he'll want to help or he'll do this men are selfish baby men are selfish that's not how this shit works you know so stop fucking oversharing stop saying things that like and we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty in just a few minutes i promise of what the definition of oversharing is like specific things but stop fucking oversharing. Stop giving away so much information about yourself that really doesn't matter to someone that you're trying to potentially have a relationship with in the future. You know, don't overshare too soon. Only insecure people over explain themselves. OK, you're not insecure, babe. So you're not explaining anything. You're not over explaining anything. Like when people ask you questions, answer the question, but don't tell them a story along with the question. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get too into it. And remember my 80 20 rule. Speak 20. I mean, talk 20 percent. Less than 80%. So number five is one that I do all the time, okay? Answer questions with questions. Because like some things, it's like, oh, what made you ask me that? Oh, what made you think of that? Oh, oh, you really think that about me? Oh, what made you make that assumption? Little shit, you know, kind of to divert it from becoming such a deep ass topic. And then you can still answer the question if you want to. And responding that way, it gives you a chance to think of something else to say if you don't want to directly share so much information about yourself, if you consider it personal. The one thing that's annoying is like men act like they don't want to share things, even though they end up telling you the whole fucking life story on accident. But they use us in our first couple of dates to like interview us to see if we're someone like the same way I teach y'all to have fucking boxes with silver, gold and platinum. Men have them too, but it's different. It's more so wifey, um, quickie or, you know, somebody that I might deal with for a while, maybe like girlfriend or something like men have their own lanes just as well. And they ask you these questions to put you in a box. Baby, you can't ever put me in a box. Like, I choose the box I want to be in, you know? That's the tea and that's the energy, but you got to know, like, that's why they're asking you all this information. It's not because he's actually into you yet. Come on. Six, before we get into these specific things, like, about oversharing, do not give away, like, your schedule, like, your day-to-day your -day vibes, like, what, what things look like for you. Because men will try to ease their way in if you have free time in certain areas. And just because you have free time doesn't mean it's their free time to have. And especially don't do that if you have someone who has not prioritized self-care the way I've told you that you need to prioritize self-care on a daily basis. So these are just a few things that you can do to remain a mystery. Um, they A lot of them sound pretty fucking obvious, but they're not. So um, know that. And then here are a few things that you need to pay attention to when it comes to oversharing. Number one, your financial status, bitch. If I have to explain why you shouldn't share your financial status with a man that you're getting to know, then I mean, I'm gonna need you to go back to like 2020 and like watch my content or something, okay? I'm not even gonna delve, dwell deep into that because that fit fucking answers itself. Why would you share your financial status with a man that's pursuing you? Mm. Now, this one is actually very common. Um, and um, if you go back to my questions that I have for the first date, it's a wrap around to this without asking this that i tell you to ask men which 100 percent works but um don't bring up your past relationships don't talk about your past relationships the one example i say use when it comes to past relationships is like when you're setting the tone in the sense of you always dealing with men who have always treated you like an absolute queen you know that's the only time but like past trauma and relationships things that went wrong things you hated about your ex and shit never share that because that just gives the man a boost like these bangs in my eyes and i took my lashes off it's not giving so sorry i keep rubbing my eyes but um oh wait till y'all see my birthday nails lucy sent me a pack today i can't wait to show y'all so like yeah like you don't want to give men that because men all wear masks you know the mask always falls off at some point and you see who they really are and 
how usually fucked up they really are, you know? Um, and you are just boosting his mask by giving that because if he is some of those traits that your ex is, he's going to cover them up for even longer. So do not ever share your past tra traumatic situations in relationships. Okay, another one, and the, 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 the mad bitch is going to say this is a pick me statement, but it really isn't. And you really understand that if you are at peace with yourself. But don't discuss things that could particularly start an argument just because you have a certain opinion. And I got this one from my mama, which is mad funny. The example is actually mad funny. But basically, like, she stopped talking to this man because he had something negative to say about Barack Obama. And, like, she didn't like that a black man was saying something about our first black president. And it just was so distasteful for her. She didn't want to deal with him anymore, you know? And... He was actually a good guy, you know, but she was so thrown off by his sense in like politics and all that shit, you know, whatever. And the T is after she had a chance to like think about it, she's like, you know what, damn, like, you know, I don't really care that much. You don't really care that much about no fucking politics enough. Not to not to for it to sacrifice you being with a really good man who's gonna take care and provide for you. Like, girl. Unless it's something like batshit crazy, like, let's be serious, you know? So you don't want to talk about things like politics, religion, um, very opinionated, journey-based um, things. You don't, want to, you don't want to talk about that because that can start an argument. And why would you want to argue with someone you just met? Like, bro, what is going on, honey? What is going on, honey? The next one is family problems. Like, babe, he's not your fucking therapist. <laughs> he's not, you know? Feel free to share that with me or with um, your therapist because like what the fuck don't share that with your man like because him committing to you is him committing to being a part of your family as well so you don't want to give him that big of a red flag right away you know so don't discuss your family problems with a new guy i don't say bring your family problems into your relationship at all if you can avoid that but you know once that is your partner and you feel like you want to share that then cool but i just would try to kind of like not keep that energy within y'all's relationship because that don't really have nothing to do with y'all Another one, which is so fucking obvious, and I'm going to be very upset if any of y'all have ever done this, but sharing your insecurities with a man. Why the fuck would you tell him what you're insecure about? Yeah, this was real. I want y'all to know when I be crafting these notes, these are from experiences or things that I read in comments or scenarios that people send me. Yeah. You know, y'all don't be making this shit up. I don't make this shit up. Another one. Never tell a man what you're into on a kinky level. That is like ultimate, not disrespect, but disrespect. Because no man of value, no man that you want to have something long-term with should be asking you what you're into sexually before he's put a fucking ring on your finger or before he's not even put a ring on your finger, but moved in that air, in that way. Like why, I'm sorry, love. <laughs> For you to ever get to know the kinky side of me, do you know what it's gonna take? Like, let's be serious. So that's an immediate red flag. Get the fuck out of there. And if you actually share that information, babe, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Another one is past medical conditions. Now, that sounds crazy. And it's like, you know, why the fuck would they care? But they care. Men want shit to look perfect. Men want shit to look perfect. So that's not something that you immediately share with someone that you are dealing with or getting to know. That it's not something that you share. You hold on to that information and then, you know, if it's something that is, in, that is important, so say for instance, y'all about to have a child and that thing that you had a past medical condition, medical condition with could affect the child that you guys are having together. Don't ever hide no shit like that. Of course, tell your significant other about some shit like that. But if it's some shit that happened to you like years ago and it doesn't affect you now, like why the fuck are you talking about that? You know, um, even when it comes to saying like, oh, you beat something tough. Like, yeah, I've had some some trials and tribulations in my life, but my life is beautiful. My life is wonderful. You are a fucking breath of fresh air. You're not the girl with all this chaotic shit going on. You know what I mean? And um, it's just men just don't agree when it, when it comes to things like that. So just never talk about your past medical conditions with the, <laughs> with the new man that you're dealing with. And lastly, messy shit, okay? Men don't need to be involved in gossip men don't have time for gossip and gossiping is just not fucking cute once we get to a certain age like let's grow up but either way like don't be messy like you are a breath of fresh air like i said you radiate positivity you encourage others you support other women you are a woman for here for the girlies you know 
be that person don't be a gossiper a shit starter messy whatever and um yeah you know that's pretty much all the things that I could immediately think of when it came to people oversharing information. And that's not what you want to do, period. And it's definitely not what you want to do when you want to remain a mystery to a man. It'll keep a little spice in the relationship, right? So I want you to take what you learned in this video and use it going into all your new relationships and all the times that you start to get to know these new people. They need to work, wonder like what kind of girly you are, like what are you really into, who you really are, you know, you giving them the brim, but it also keeps the excitement because they have something to constantly wonder, you know? It's kind of like giving up the coot, you know, you don't want to give up the coot too soon because then like, where's the chase? Like, duh, it's like that too, but do that with your personality as well, right? Okay, so I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it really helped you. Um, I've mentioned this in a previous video, but like, I, I really want y'all to understand. I will never pretend to be somebody that I am not. I will never get on here and speak to y'all a certain way just because I'm never going to do that. You know, um, I'm going to teach you guys the things that I've learned from my experience that work. And I'm just going to keep doing me, bitch. So please never compare me to anybody because I am one of one. Okay, I love you and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Don't forget the coaching special. Um, shit, it might be sold out by the time you see the end of this video. But yeah, see you later.